good day to all of you. Let us continue our discussion on quadratic equation. The last way of solving quadratic equation is solving using the quadratic formula. So what is quadratic formula? A quadratic equation in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 when solved using completing the square will result into the so-called quadratic formula. It means the formula was derived using the standard form and solving it by completing the square. And that is the quadratic formula. It is read as x is equal to negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Again, it is x equals negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. To solve quadratic equation using quadratic formula, you have to follow the following procedures. 1. Write the equation in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. 2. Identify the values of a, b, and c. Then, we are going to substitute the values of a, b, and c in the quadratic formula and solve it. And then lastly, check the values obtained using the original equation. For our first example, let us solve x squared plus 5x equals 14 step by step. First, write the equation in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Is the given expression in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0? Obviously, it is not because we have here equals 14. It must be equal to 0. So, using addition property of equality, we are going to write, we have x squared plus 5x. Using APE, it will become negative 14 and then equal 0. And we are done with step number 1. For step number 2, identify the values of A, B, and C. In here, the value of A is... Yes, it is 1, B is 5, and C is negative 14. Negative 14. Okay, that is step number 2. For number 3, we are going to substitute the values of A, B, and C in our quadratic formula and solve the equation. This is our quadratic formula. We are going to substitute, so x is equal to, you have a constant negative on the formula, b is equal to 5, plus minus the square root of, b again is 5, so we have 5 squared, minus 4, let us extend the radical sign, a is equal to 1, and c is equal to negative 14. We are going to divide the whole expression by 2, times the value of a is 1. There. So it will become x equals, it will become negative 5 plus minus the square root of 5 squared is 25. Negative 4 times 1 times negative 14 is positive 50. 56 over 2 times 1 is 2. Then simplify further, x is equal to negative 5 plus minus 25 plus 56 is 81. And then we have all over 2. Simplify again, so x is equal to negative 5 plus minus the square root of 81 is 9. And then copy over 2. For x sub 1, we are going to take the positive root, so we will be having negative 5 plus 9 over 2. Negative 5 plus 9 is 4, and then copy over 2, and the answer is 2. That is x sub 1. For x sub 2, we are going to take the negative root, 
So it will become negative 5 minus, it should be positive 9. Okay, so negative 5 minus 9 over 2. It will become negative 14 over 2 and it is equal to negative 7. That is step number 3. And then lastly, we can check if they are correct using our equation, which is x squared plus 5x equals 14. Okay, so if x is equal to 2, substitute 2 for x, so we have 2 squared plus 5 times x again is 2 equals 14. 2 squared is 4, 5 times 2 is 10 equals 14. 4 plus 10 is 14 and it is equal to 14. Two sides of the equation are equal, so x sub 1, 2 is correct. Let us check if x is equal to negative 7. Substitute negative 7 for x, so negative 7 squared plus 5 times negative 7 equals 14. Negative 7 squared is positive 49. 5 times negative 7 is negative 35 equals 14. 49 minus 35 is 14. And again, it is equal to 14. It means x sub 2 negative 7 is also correct. Therefore, the solutions of x squared plus 5x equals 14 are we have 2 and negative 7. Example number 2, 3x squared minus x plus 5 equals 7. We are going to write it in ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. It must be equal 0, so we are going to combine the two constant on the left side of the equation. So it will become 3x squared minus x and then plus 5. Using addition property of equality, it will become minus 7 and then equal 0. We have to simplify the two constants. So we have 3x squared minus x. 5 minus 7 is negative 2 equals 0. And that is our step number 1. For step number 2, we need to identify the values of a, b, and c. So in here, the value of a is, yes, our a is 3. Our B is correct, it's negative 1, and C is negative 2, and that is step number 2. Let us use it in our quadratic formula for the third step. So we have X equals negative again is constant in our formula, so we have negative. The value of B, as you can see, is negative 1, so B is negative 1, we have negative 1, plus minus B again is negative 1, so we have negative 1 squared minus 4 times the value of A is 3, and then times the value of C is negative 2. All over, we have 2 times the value of A again is 3. Let us simplify. It will be equal to negative and negative will become positive, plus minus negative 1 squared is also positive 1 negative times 3 times negative 2 is positive 24 and then over 2 times 3 is 6 simplify again 1 plus minus square root of 1 plus 24 is 25 and then over 6 we have x is equal to 1 plus minus the square root of 25 is 5 and then over 6. So in here, x sub 1 will take the positive root here. So we have x equals 1 plus 5 over 6. 1 plus 5 is 6 divided by 6. So x sub 1 is 1. For x sub 2, we are going to take again the negative root here. So we have 1 minus 5 over 6. 1 minus 5 is negative 4 over 6. This can be expressed in lowest term. Then the lowest term is negative 2 over 3. 
and that is step number three. Let us check if the obtained values are correct. If using 3x squared minus x plus 5 equals 7, if x is equal to 1, that is x sub 1, then we will be having 3. The value of x is 1 and then squared minus the value of x again is 1 plus 5 and then equals 7. Simplify the exponent first, so copy 3, 1 squared is 1, negative 1 plus 5 equals 7. 3 times 1 is 3, negative 1 plus 5 is positive 4 equals 7. 3 plus 4 is 7 and it is equal to 7. It only means x sub 1, 1 is correct. Let us check x sub 2, which is negative 2 over 3. Substitute it to the value of x. So we have 3. x is negative 2 over 3. And then squared minus x again is negative 2 over 3. Then we have plus 5 equals 7. Copy 3 because we have to simplify it with exponent. And the answer here is 4 over 9. We have 2 negative here, so it will become positive. And then copy 2 over 3 plus 5 equals 7. 3 and 9 can be simplified. It will become 1 and 3. So what's left is 4 over 3. And then copy plus 2 over 3 plus 5 equals 7. We have here similar fractions. So you add the numerator and copy the denominator. It will become 6 over 3 plus 5 equals 7. 6 divided by 3 is 2 plus 5 equals 7, and 2 plus 5 is 7, it is equal to 7. It means negative 2 over 3 is also correct. So the solutions of 3x squared minus x plus 5 equals 7 are actually, we have 1 and negative 2 over 3. For the last example, let us have x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals 0. The first one is we need to write it in ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. If you are going to notice, it is written already in the correct form. It means we are done with step number 1 already. The next thing that we have to do is we need to identify the values of a, b, and c. Looking at here, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2, and C is also equal to 1. That is step number 2. We are going to use the quadratic formula. And we are going to substitute the values. So we have X equals. We are going to write the constant negative again from the formula. The value of B base from here is 2. And then we have plus minus. The square root of B is 2. So we will be having 2 squared minus 4. The value of A is 1 and also the value of C is 1 again. Divide everything by 2 times the value of A is 1. Let us simplify further. So x equals negative 2 plus minus 2 squared is 4. And then we have negative 4 times 1 times 1. That is equal to negative 4. All over 2 times 1 is 2. 2. x equals negative 2 plus minus the square root of 4 minus 4 is 0 all over 2. So x is equal to negative 2 plus minus. Do we have square root of 0? Yes, because 0 times 0 is equal to 0. Therefore, the square root of 0 is 0 all over 2. It will give us x sub 1. We have negative 2 plus 0 over 2. So we have negative 2 over 2 and it is equal to negative 1. For x sub 2, we have negative 2 minus 0 over 2. It will become negative 2 over 2. And the answer is also negative 1. If you are going to notice, x sub 1 and x sub 2 are equal or the same. It only means that we have only one value of x, which is negative 1. Let us check it to the original equation. x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals 0. 
substituting negative 1 for x, so we have negative 1 squared, 2 times negative 1, and then plus 1 equals 0. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. Simplify, that is negative 2 plus 1 equals 0. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0, and it is equal to 0. Meaning to say, negative 1 is correct. So the only solution of x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals 0 is negative 1. Then, to solve again, we have to follow the procedures. 1. Write the equation in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. 2. Identify the values of a, b, and c. And then after that, we are going to substitute it in the quadratic formula and simplify. And then lastly, we can check if the values that we obtained are correct using the original equation. Again, this is Mamshila. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Thank you for watching.